Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. We're celebrating one birthday today. Happy birthday in third grade to Mrs. Watley. And I know, Mrs. Watley, you wanted uh, Cameron to have the same birthday as you, but I'm sorry, he had other plans. High today of 36 degrees. Um, and I know we're seeing some snow here, uh, but that's actually uh, overnight after school. So uh, we should be able to get outside once again for recess today. Hot lunch, we've got chicken enchilada or chef salad. After school today, book club, archery, art club, uh, but no fourth grade band, all right? So this week, um, no band after school. Uh, for Spike's shout out, so obviously not being at school, uh, it's difficult. I'm, I'm sure everyone is on their best behavior, um, and, uh, and I certainly trust that. Uh, but teachers, please uh, email me uh, when you catch someone being good uh, so that I can uh, put them as a Spike shout out. So today, um, thank you, Mrs. Alclair, uh, who saw uh, Weston yesterday in 1 2. Uh, a friend came to the cafeteria late, uh, and he wanted to make sure that he had someone to sit with. So, uh, nice job being a good friend, Weston. The Lord spoke to Moses in the fire, but as with Elijah, he was not in the fire. He spoke to Moses face to face, and yet his presence did not have a face. The presence of the Lord is mysterious. It is as intimate as a close conversation and as intimidating as a burning bush. God appeared to Moses and the people of Israel on a mountain and in a bush. Today we remember St. Mary and Cope, who recognized the presence of the Lord in those afflicted with leprosy in Hawaii. She cared for them and established a hospital and school for the people on Maui. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses convened all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statues and ordinances that I am addressing to you today. You shall learn them and observe them diligently. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. Not with our ancestors did the Lord make this covenant, but with us, who are all of us here alive today. The Lord spoke with you face to face at the mountain, out of the fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this today. When have you felt the presence of God? Maybe you felt the presence of God in nature, seeing something beautiful. Maybe you felt the presence of God uh, with someone else when someone uh, did an act of kindness. Right? We can see God in other people as well. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, have a good Tuesday, everyone.